I'm Jennifer Angel, this is Stars for June, Virgo. Now, on the 3rd, Mercury in your 11th house and Neptune in your 7th house are going to try and Okay, so what this means, the 11th house is all to do with the friends, it's also a charitable area. The 7th house is all to do with relationships. So this gives you an opportunity to really open up more and to share your feelings because Mercury being your ruling planet of course is to do with communication. Now on the 7th Neptune will go retrograde so whatever happens early in the month don't be surprised if there's a cooling off period okay but don't worry about it just stay the course and banish any self-doubt so things will will even even up the to and throw of the energy will sort of balance out. Now on the 28th, Venus is going to transit into your solar 12th house. So this is a sign before you. Now for singles, this is a good time to start thinking about how you want your love life to, to be. Okay, because in about another month, you're going to have Venus in your sign. And that's one of the times when in the astro solar chart, that love can really just touch you a little more intensely. So this is like the time for you to get ready for love. Uh, if you're in a relationship, then you know try to connect. Um, just stay connected. I mean, sometimes we get into you know ruts or we get into our routine and our procedures. Particularly as a Virgo, you like the procedures, so maybe you want to think about just changing your routine and spicing it up a little bit. Okay, and particularly a good time to connect on a spiritual level. Now, on a professional note, last month Uranus and Pluto square. Um, it did or you know did bring the possibility of changes in your life particularly around who handles the money and the resources so you may want to just uh, formulate that a little bit more if you did make some changes around your financial situation at work then it probably just needs to be formulated over this period um, at the start of the month, there's like a real boost for creativity, something creative project can go ahead. You want to be careful with your time management and you want to be careful that you don't give away too much control either. You need to be in control um, of your time. If you're not totally in control of money or, or you know something else that's going on in your business life, then you want to at least be kept up to date. Now the recent Jupiter aspects that happened were very good for business for you. So um, we had a conjunction late in May with Jupiter and Mercury, your ruling planet, and with the Venus. So uh, whatever transpired out of that, if you, uh, you know, had um, discussions uh, about new things coming up or possibility of something new then you want to keep that going and, and follow through okay even if you're not totally in control of it you want to just take a little bit of initiative and follow through with that now my angel advice for you mercury your ruling planet is going to go retrograde 27 28th uh, it's in your twelfth in your twelfth house, so your intuition is going to be heightened around this period. Um, but you want to just try not to be reactive with anything. Just step back, tune into your instincts, and have a think about what's happening before you make any judgment. Okay. Now your lucky numbers are 7, 15, 16, and 27. There's room there for you to put your own numbers in. So. Have a great month, Virgo. I'm Jennifer Angel. Thanks for watching.